So, um... All right. You can just start. It's all. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. So, uh, we are... Here's our current progress on the, uh, the window. So, we have this giant empty window with a file button at the top. You can load an image or a video. So, we'll start by loading an image. We'll go load, let's see, what's a good one, this one. Mm -hmm. So we have this image, it loads, it loads the spectrum down here, and it has, it extracts the minimum, or the mi maximum minimum temperatures, so you can see it's extracting that 47 and also that 25 from the actual image. Um, and we can, we can click anywhere on the image, and it will, it does a couple things. So it will first, tell us that the temperature at that point is 46 degrees. We can move that around and it'll update accordingly. So if we go down here to where it's dark, it'll say 26 degrees, which is our lower bound down here. Um, you can also see that we have a current like sort of working X and Y. So that's the, the X and the Y uh, from your cursor. So as we move those around, you can see the Y updates to view the Y slice and the X updates to view the X slice. Um, and if for whatever reason, going back to the extraction, if for whatever reason the extraction of the numbers is wrong, you can input your own. So if, let's say for example, the lower bound was 30, not 25, you can put in 30 and it'll update to 30 and then the, the temperatures would update accordingly. So if we want to open up a video, and the video is still a work in progress, it's a lot of it works, but we're still working on some of it. So, um, so it loads the video, and it'll split it into two views. The left one is still the primary view, so just like the image, you can click and drag and do everything you can do on an image. But the right view is going to be another frame in the video that you can use for the comparison view, which is still a work in progress. Uh, we were going to aim to have that. Uh, I'm honestly going to try to have it done by tomorrow. But um, with a video, we have a frame slider down here. So you can see we can go through the video just by jumping frames. Or we can press the play button, which currently is bugged. Um, all right. So... Here's another example video, and this is actually a good time to show the um, the actual recorded temperatures. I'll jump to some frames here. You, see, you can see it's it's really wrong. It's 33 degrees, but it's saying it's 300. Um, this is just a problem with, like, right here, it's 32 degrees, but it's reading 2 as the lower bound. This is just a problem with um, the extraction, and I'm, I'm going to work on this uh, to try to make it a little more accurate. But that's that's a small bug. Uh, other than that, like so, the X and Y it works. It's getting the temperature, assuming that the bounds are correct. Which in this case, in this particular frame, they are correct. So this is working. Um, and the so yeah, let me. I feel like I want to show the frame skip and the playing of video. I don't know how to though. Okay, so the another feature with the videos is the, um, so you can jump through frames using the slider or you can just play the video to view it. Um, before playing the video, it's recommended that you set the frame skip, which is basically uh, how many frames it'll play per second. Um, so a higher number means less frames per second, but it won't be as computation intensive. So I'm doing about eight right now and you can see I press play and the video will be changing over time. It's a little hard to see, but eventually it'll it'll start heating up. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it's playing, so I'll, I'll stop it and I'll just change the frame skip to like 20. So now it'll be much slower, but it'll allow much more time for computation. So if your computer's maybe slower, you just wanna set the frame skip to a high number and you'll still be able to see the video in uh, the same time frame that it was running, but it'll be better for your computer. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, so this is a comparison videos which compare like two image frames, and two frames will take like around 90 seconds. And this is just like a, for each pixel, it will display the number. And you can see there is some, some like hot spot here. And it compare between two image and we'll have a difference like this. And for the difference, it will generate a contour graph, something like this.
if we make it black and white, it will, well, um, it will highlight where the the most heat change, the change in temperature is.